everyone, Christine here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to all my new subscribers. I wanted to share with you my Creative Times 130th edition release and it's an Easter release. It's so super cute. So let me move these out of the way and let me share with you all of the new products. And the first thing I wanted to share with you is a super cute paper pad. It's called Spring Gingers. I love it. And so let me do a quick flip through for you. There's a pretty blue gingham. There's tiny little flowers. And the back is blue script. And I love this quilted pattern of bunnies. And there's some green script. And this orange pattern with little bunnies on it. An orange script on the back. And these super cute Easter or Easter ginger bunnies with baskets. And I'll come back to this page and I'll show you um, the stamp and die set. And on the back is a yellow script. And this, of course, is one of my favorite papers, this pink pattern and the pink script. And then there's also this wood pattern with some Easter eggs on it and a rainbow script paper. And then it repeats itself. And there are four each of six designs in this one. And then the coordinating paper pad is called Dots, Flowers, and Solids. And as you can see, they do um, match perfectly together. And I'll do a quick flip through of this one. I did use up um, a lot of my pinks. <laughs> okay, so the first page is this beautiful blue flower page. I love this one. And on the back is a solid. And then a blue polka dot one and another solid and a pretty green floral with a green solid polka dots another solid a pretty orange floral pattern and an orange solid and polka dot and orange solid pretty yellow pattern and the solid and the polka dots and the solid and so I've already used up all my pink papers can you see this is one of my favorite ones <laughs> and the back is a solid and um, there's a um, I think there was one more sheet was there one more oh yes there was this one there was this other pink polka dot and a solid on the back which I've already used and a rainbow polka dot pattern with rainbow solids on the back and then it repeats itself. And this one is a uh, two each of 12 designs. Super cute. And next is the super cute stamp and die set. It's called Ginger Easter Bunnies. Isn't that adorable? I love it. It's got somebody loves you, you're somebody special, and of course, happy Easter. And I love these small sentiments too. They're perfect for tags. And of course you get the matching dies and this is what they look like isn't that super cute okay going back to the spring gingers paper pad on this page here you can cut out the bunnies you got the left and right ones and then of course the Easter basket oops this way and this is what they'll look like. Of course, I've already used a couple of them already. Isn't that super cute? Next is the Ginger Easter 1 and Ginger Easter 2. Uh, these are bunny ears and baskets accessories for the um, Ginger Boy and Girl dies. This is the, the, the two inch size one. And this is the larger size, which is about three inches. And let me share an example of um, this bunny ear so when you create your gingerbread and you've pieced your ears together it comes with this little um, headband thingy so you just place that behind your gingerbread and then if you're going to add um, foam for added dimension just sandwich it for there and i what i've done also in my other project i'll show you in just a bit i've also added foam to the ears and so isn't that super cute and last but not least, this is the Pretty Scallop Tall Tag Dies. And this set will also coordinate with the, um, the Tall Tag Die set. And let me share with you my project that I made with this. Isn't this super cute? I love how this turned out. 
And so I use the um, Ginger Easter one to create all the accessories here. And for the, uh, I use this bow is from the Ginger Easter two set. Isn't that sweet? And I also use, what other accessories? I use this oval die. This is from this set here. Uh, this is a pretty scallop oval and oval layer dies. These are, these are sold separately. I also use these pretty um, uh, cute heart layers and heart layer dies. And I use these tiny little hearts. I use this one and this one uh, for the accent on the bow and the accent on the little uh, bow in the basket. Isn't that sweet? So this says Easter wishes. I have a, a seam binding tag or bow. <laughs> And um, Happy Easter on the back. Isn't that cute? I love it. Okay, my next project I wanted to share with you is this super cute milk treat box. Isn't that adorable? Let me show you the sides. I love the lace on the bottom. Oops. Isn't that sweet? So at the top here, I have... Um, one of the assorted mini bows. It's on a um, clothespin. I added some lace here. And this is where I used one of the sentiments, somebody, somebody loves you. And I use these tiny little flowers. Let me share with you the dye that I use. Uh, I think this is called the pretty floral, pretty floral dyes. And I use a tiny little, tiny little one here. Isn't that cute? I love it. And these little heart accents and this little tiny little bow clay accent. This is from um, Lady Cray Shop. These little hearts. And then also I received this as a blessing from Sue Ann Thomason. These tiny little clay bows. I love those. Isn't that super cute? I just love how it turned out. And it's a pretty good size. You can fit a, a good amount of candy in there. And I also use the A2 um, layer dies, A2 frame layer dies, which is these two. Aren't they super cute? I love it. For my next project, I made this super cute Easter card. Isn't that adorable? So besides all the new products, I use these um, pretty rectangle um, scallop frame dies and the XOXO frame layer dies. And I also use the A2 fancy frame dies and frame layer dies. And I also use the sweet gingerbread person die along with the ginger, um, ginger Easter one accessories. Isn't it super cute? I love how it turned out. I just used a paper doily. I added some um, lace at the bottom. And this is another clay piece from um, Lady Cree Shop, MissFunCreations.com. And also this little uh, clay piece is from her as well, from this little jar. Isn't that cute? So I popped everything up. I even popped up the uh, feet. And I just thought it turned out so super adorable. And I also, I ran out of pink paper. So I used it from another piece of paper from this paper pad, Script Hearts and Solids. Love this, I need to get more of those. Isn't that super cute? And next I made the super cute treat box. Isn't that adorable? Here's the back. Let me share with you the products that I've used besides the new products. I use the um, A2 Fancy Frame Dies and A2 Fancy Frame Layer Dies. And I also use the Pocket Treat Die. And because this is bigger than a six by six, I cut it out in two places. I cut it out up until this score line here. And a second time I cut it up to um, this score line up here. So I have this piece and this piece. And that way they have a place to glue to each other, if that makes any sense. And so, um, isn't this super cute? I love it. And I popped up the bow and the little foot pads. <laughs> and I added another little clay heart piece from um, Lady Cree Shop, MissFunCreations.com. 
I have my sentiment, Somebody Loves You, on top of these um, A2 fancy frame layers. And isn't that adorable? And then it opens up like this. And I have another sentiment here. It says, Happy Easter. And a little basket there. And you can fit a couple fun size uh, candies in there. Super cute. And there's a slot here. And it just closes like this. Isn't that adorable? And last but not least, I made a super cute Easter tag. Isn't that adorable? I love how that turned out. I have your somebody special on the back, another little sentiment on the front. And let me share with you the other products that I've used. I use these tag frame dies and tag frame die layers. Mini bow dies, I use this little one here. And my go-to A2 Fancy Frame Dies and A2 Fancy Frame Layer Dies. And I use another um, heart clay piece from Lady Cree's shop here and here. And I have some cheesecloth, uh, paper doily, and some lace. And another ribbon that I have at the top. And I did pop up the, the bunny and the basket. And I also use a tiny little clay bow here at the bottom. That's from Sue Ann. Isn't that super cute? So those are all my projects. I'm going to leave all the links down below to uh, my Creative Times products, um, all the ones that I've used, and also to the links to all of my fellow design team sisters. And uh, let's see. And also the sale starts today at 8 a.m and ends at midnight Sunday. And let's see, you can use the code February 2023 for 15% off for everything that's in stock. That's capital F-E-B 2023. And I think that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I thank you all for watching. Bye for now.